All right, so this might be a little bit of a short video, but I'm going to try something from my last video, and I will leave a link to that last video up here where I was going through a bunch of different things and then collimating the corrector plate. And I had some awesome comments on that video that I want to follow up with, and that is not using my dew heater tonight and seeing if the deformation of the stars improves uh, by not running it. So I haven't been using a, a dew heater controller on this, and I've been running it 100%. And what I've learned is from other people's experiences is that they had experienced exactly the same star deformations as what I have been seeing um, before they started using a dew heater controller. So tonight's test is no heat and see if we get round stars. All right, stick with me. I'm Doug and this is Astro AF. All right, so this is a pretty simple test tonight, and I've only got one thing that's different, and that's gonna be I'm not plugging in my dew heater. And actually, tonight, it's, it's a really beautiful night. It's cool, and I don't think I'm gonna have dew problems. The, uh, I'll have to take a look, but I don't think the uh, dew point is anywhere near the, um, the temperature and uh, we had pretty low humidity today. So I think it's gonna be okay. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, here, I'll show you real quick. So over here on the scope, this is my dew heater power right here. So it's just unused. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. And I'm gonna do a Get this uh, uh, polar alignment here done pretty soon. It's still a little bit, and uh, so I'll give this about uh, 20 minutes or so, and then I'll get aligned, and then we'll get back over on target. All right, so it's dark enough now, and I'm gonna go ahead and get going. I've got to do a uh, three-point polar align. I just finished doing a manual focus. I haven't done an autofocus yet, and I am pretty sure that I forgot to turn off my mount when I unplugged the power to it the day before yesterday and that usually means I have to reset the the axis in an EQ mod so I'm just gonna do that to avoid any problems it's all set up for its home position now so I'll switch over to Nina and get that done and then I'll get the three-point polar line started so I'll just uh, run through that and speed it up or time lapse or whatever and uh, then I'll be back uh, once I get that done and uh, we'll go through and try and see if running with no heater makes any difference. Oh man, sometimes polar alignment's brutal. The last couple days we had real bad storms here. We had like this derecho that came in and we had a front line of like 80 mile an hour winds and I had uh, the scope taken inside and the uh, tripod and mount, I have 75 pounds of sand ballast on the, on the bottom of the legs and then I also have some stakes and tie down straps. I have three of them on there that go around and hold everything down. But it apparently had moved a bit and I don't know, it hung in there. It was really solid, but I think just messing around and probably the tie downs when I was cinching them down, I uh, moved things around a bit. So that, that took a bit. I think I actually had about 25 minutes in getting the polar alignment done there and uh, ended up doing it a couple times. So anyway, it's it's done now. So I'll head back over. I got lined up on Alcade. I'm going to do an autofocus and cross fingers. I, I hope autofocus goes well and we'll see um, what happens with that. 
Okay, that wasn't that great, but the starting HFR on that looked like it was pretty high, so I wasn't in as good a focus as I thought. I am in better final HFR now, so I'm going to run this again. I had a good hyperbolic on that, 0.99. Backlash was a little much, but I uh, I think I'm going to run it again and see if I, I think I'm going to probably get an improvement now that I'm closer to focus. All right, it's a little bit better. I'm still not really happy with it, so I'm going to probably going to do one more autofocus based on. We'll take a look at the HFRs that I have on stars here now. Yeah, it still seems a little bit high. Let's see if one more autofocus will improve. I'm not sure why I am not getting a little bit higher HFR on the initial. I normally get around 12 to 15. So to me it looks like I need to increase my step size and my backlash a little bit. So I think I'm going to try that. I hate to go chasing numbers here. Sometimes that turns into like an hour. I'm going to do manual here. and see if I can dial it in. Yeah, that's really high, so, okay. So let's go. I'm gonna go up. And one more. Let's see what that gives us. 9.21, 9.72. All right, that's an improvement. Looking at 8.73 and 9.35. Okay, it's getting better. Maybe one more. Let's see if we get even more improvement. All right, I'm looking at uh, like 5.92 and 6.09. Yeah, I got some more. I feel like I'm going to try it one more time. All right, so 4.86 and 4.96. Yeah, so still improved. One more time. So 4.45 and 4.64. All right, we went back up. So half the autofocus step size is 300. Let's um, let's go back down. All right, let's see. 4.61, 4.93. I'm gonna go back up one. So 4.94, 5.45. Not going so good here. So back down. All right, 5.3 and 5.56. All right, I don't know that I'm going to get it much better than that. I'm going to, so I've got 47,300 is where I'm sitting right now. So I'm going to run an autofocus. See if that helped. All right, that's a much better starting HFR. Crossing fingers here. Okay, that's, that was better. I think I need to add just a little bit of backlash. Small amounts. And let's see, 47,300, 46,670. I'm tempted to go back to 47,300. This is actually Looks a little bit out. All right, let's start over from the same place again with a little bit more backlash. 
All right, that looks a lot better. All right, I'm going to call that a decent one. And sorry for the getting sidetracked there. I really wanted to get this dialed in pretty good for this test here so that it didn't have a focus being something that is causing a difference between these two images that we're comparing. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get on target. So I'm going to frame up SH286. center. Alright, cool. I'm going to go ahead and get guiding going. Lots of stars. Let's let guiding settle in. Looks like it's doing pretty good. We'll go over to the imaging tab and I will do a five minute exposure at 120. And we're going to save that and we will go ahead and start that. Okay, the image just came in and I think I'll start with well, first of all, my guiding is really good tonight. It's 0 0.49, 0 0.48. Um, so that's actually looking promising. I'm going to look at the aberration inspector here and see what I've got. So while these are kind of looking, I mean, they have a, some big stars in here and stuff. Uh, these look better, don't they? Alright, so I'm going to transfer this file over from the from the uh, mini PC to my computer here and then we'll have a look. Alright, I got that transferred. Guiding still holding at 0.48 I think, 0.47. That's fantastic. Alright, let's go over to PixInsight and over here I have the original image and I guess maybe we'll do a screen transfer function on that and then I'm gonna open this one that I just took which is here and we'll give it a screen transfer function and let's uh, tile those. Okay, so this is the image from, yeah, back on June 30th. So we'll come into that. I guess here's a good example. So let's come right into the center. And you can tell this, these are a lot rounder. That's a that's a really big difference, I think. Um, let's keep comparing over here. Is that up there? Let me make sure these are about the same. So yeah, have a look at this. That's a nice round star, and that is not. So I think that the dew heater is causing the problem. Yeah, so I want to thank you guys in the, uh, who, who commented on my last video 
for the collimation and chimed in. I think I had three or four people saying that they had experienced exactly the same thing and found that it was their dew heater causing it. I'm looking at it from the perspective of functional testing and from what I can see the problem is related to the dew heater. So anyway I thank you guys very much for for you contributing in that last video in the comments and helping me resolve this problem because I think right now I think I can say that that problem is solved. I do need to get a controller for the dew heater so that I can run the dew heater and run it at a, a lower level. I mean, I'll probably have to figure out what that level is going to be, but I still have a little bit of tilt, although maybe, you know, let's, let's look real quick. Let's go check that image out and see what the tilt looks like on it. So I'll go back over here in Cyril and let me open that other one. Tilt. So 10. Yeah, so I've still got tilt. <laughs> so I, I think that there's still even more room for improvement here. So I'm probably going to work on adjusting the tilt on my sensor. The good thing is, is that the Player One Artemis M Pro has a built-in tilt plate on it. So I don't have to go purchase any type of tilt adapter or anything like that. It's already built into the camera. So I'll just need to do some stuff like uh, determine what is top bottom left and right and and then start making some adjustments and I will probably try the tool over in Nina which that's in the uh, aberration inspector and uh, run this tool because that'll give me a detailed analysis for for tilt yeah so with that I'm gonna wrap this up and I want to thank you all very much and thanks to those again who uh, you know basically contributed in the comments to helping me figure this out i really appreciate it so hey if you like this video down at the bottom hit the subscribe button and give this a like and share with someone that you think it might help if you'd like to support my channel i have a buy me a coffee for as little as a a, a dollar a month you can become a member or you can make a one-time contribution of whatever amount you like you can help this channel using my affiliate links that are down in the description and that's at no additional cost to you for something that you might be buying anyway so if you want to help out the channel and do that through amazon or gina astro links that i have down below there then that would be greatly appreciated too so thanks so much for your support and i hope you have clear skies my name is doug and this is astro af